Chief Secretary of London today at the Assembly's plenary sitting spoke about the current condition of the Secretary of the Division of Infrastructure and Public Utilities, Hilton Sandy. Mr. Sandy was transferred to the medical ward after 24 hours observation on Sunday, where the medicine team continues to care for him. He's still categorized as critical but stable. He's awake, he's alert. He's able to recognize faces and individuals. He cannot speak and he cannot use the right side of his body. The region of the brain affected is the left side of his brain supplied by the left middle cerebral artery. Chief Secretary London continued to highlight the effects of the stroke sustained by Secretary Sandy. The follow-up CAT scan has shown that the stroke is affecting the left frontal area of his brain and the left temporal portion of his brain. This is the region responsible for, for speech and to some extent personality and higher level thinking. Mr. Sandy has received an assessment from a consultant neurologist and the medicine team is in constant communication with the neurosurgeon at the Port of Spain General Hospital. The ultrasound of the cardio artery, artery has shown that there's a blockage or a narrowing of the left cardio artery. However, due to its current state, it is not advisable that any surgical procedure be done. This was confirmed by the consultant neurosurgeon at the Port of Spain General Hospital. Mr. London also noted that Mr. Sandy will be away from his tasks indefinitely and as such, Deputy Chief Secretary Mrs. Tracy Davidson Celestine and Education Secretary Gary Melville will be assisting him with the ailing secretary's constituency functions at Roxborough Della Ford. Mr. London indicated that he will be at the Roxborough District Office from 8.30 a.m. on Friday, 4th October.